Hi everybody, this is Roger Sakach. I wanted to introduce you to my new app that generates relative permeability curves for oil and gas reservoirs. This page that we're looking at here is the input screen that accepts the endpoint relative permeability parameters and also takes in the Cori coefficients for both oil water and gas oil systems. In addition to that, the page also accepts live water and oil viscosities for fractional flow calculations. Let's now hit the calculate button and then the plot oil water curves button in order to generate the curves for the oil water system. The green line is the oil relative perm to oil and the blue line is the relative perm to water. Let's go back to the main screen now and hit again the calculate button and then we'll hit the, uh, the fractional flow button. So on the y-axis is the fractional flow information and the x-axis is the water saturation so we can see the fractional flow relationship. Back to the main page, let's now look at the gas oil system curves that are generated from these parameters. Let's click the plot gas oil versus saturation of gas button and again you have the, blue, the uh, green line represents the oil system relative permeability and the red is the gas system relative permeability. Let's show that same data relative to liquid saturation. So hit the calculate button and then this one here. So this is the exact same data that we just looked at but it's all relative to the liquid saturation on the x-axis. Let's go back to the main screen and I wanted to point out that not only can we see the curves in a graphical format but we can also see them in a tabulated format. So let's hit calculate and then the, press the calculate button. Let's accept the default parameter of a saturation step change of 0.05 and hit the tabulate key. On the left is our oil water relative permeability curve data and on our right is our calculated gas oil relative permeability data. I'll point out to you that all of this information is fully accessible so you can copy and you can paste it into whatever application you want. Let's change the saturation step size to 0.1. Hit the tabulate key and you can see how that it reschedules the tabulated data. Here what I've, what I've done is I've pulled up a spreadsheet and previously I had taken copies of the oil water relative permeability information. I've just placed it into my spreadsheet um, for a short period of time. We'll use it in a, in a minute. Let's now calculate the data again, turn on the plot with comparative data, and then press, press the plot oil water curve. I'm going to show you how to compare the relative permeability data to that tabulated data we just got. So let's copy the, the saturation, or sorry, the relative perm data for the oil water system, come back to the app, and we'll paste it from the clipboard into the application, and it will automatically parse it into the various components. Now let's hit the plot data and we'll see the familiar curves that we'd seen earlier, but we also see it with the tabulated information overlaid on top of it. Let's go back to the main screen and I'll show you how it also works for the gas oil system. So we have calculate, we have that plot with comparative data check marked. We're going to go back to the spreadsheet and copy the gas oil system data into the clipboard, we're going to go into our application and paste it again into the application. Now we're going to hit plot data and we're going to see the gas oil system relative to the tabulated data and you can see in both cases a very good match. What is the purpose of that? The purpose of that is, is that it may have come from laboratory data and you might want to compare it to what your Cori curves look like. Um, or you just might want to uh, compare it to a previous history match. Let's make some changes to the oil water system. Let's make an uh, increase to the Cori oil number from 2.8 up to 3.5. So we're going to add a little bit of curvature. And let's also change the relative permeability to oil at the maximum saturation condition to 0.8 down from 0.9 and we'll take a look at the data to see how the information has changed. So you can see how, uh, how a 
the information has changed relative to those original parameters that we started with. Let's go back to the main screen and make some similar adjustments to the gas oil system. Let's change the Cori gas number. Let's reduce it from three. We'll straighten it, the line out a bit to two and a half, sorry, to two. And let's also make an adjustment to the relative perm to gas at the residual oil saturation. We'll increase it up to 0.5. And now take a look and see what has changed in our, in our projections. So uh, this is a nice comparison and allows you to track throughout your history matching process or comparison to the laboratory data to see where things are sitting. So how do you get a hold of the app? It's quite simple. The app exists on the Microsoft App Store. So what you have to do is you have to go to the Microsoft App Store. I'll just go into Google here and we'll just search for Microsoft App Store. And once you're in, you may have to register um, and log in. But beyond that, you just simply search. Let's search for Cori space rel space perm. And you can see the app come up. And accept that. And here you have the ability to download the app and go for a seven day trial or continue on and uh, spend a little bit of money and uh, come up with the full-blown app.